Oh, let's go to that store. Yeah. The something something aromas. The digital aromas. That's not what luminous. It's <laughs> luminous something. What's the big holdup? The Perry Brad has all only a matter of time until the neighborhood. Mm. The system has gone soft. Let's them off the hook easy. They better book her before Halloween. She didn't do anything. I don't want to let the kids out trick or treating. Hate y'all. I know everyone's rude. Also, where's my girl Olivia? <laughs> Free my girl May. She didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was like, was yay, it's open! Oh, yay, yay, yay! Hi! Hi, oh, Lauren. You're here. Yes, I am. This shop is really cool. I love the decor. Nancy. Thank you. You entered it's three seconds ago. She can see. I kind of imagine this is what an actual witch's shop would look like. Yeah. Seriously. You have all these herbs. Look, St. John's Wart, Mandrake Root. You know, Witches were just synonymous with people who used the old medieval ways of working with plants and animals, curing ills, or healers, shamans, and confessors. You can see why some people might have been threatened by them. Preach it, Nance. I know, right? No leeches here, though. Hmm. I draw the line at bloodsuckers. I mean, oh, she's got a mug in her hand. A lot of people around here don't. How so? Some say I'm cashing in, not respecting history. People get so caught up in the death and judgment. But I was always interested in all of that lost knowledge, even as a kid. I bet a lot of kids around here are fascinated by it. Yes, you see. Mm. You get a lot of people in? Maybe May Perry? May. That's funny. Why? Look, she's had a hard time. She's not the only one. I've been the kid everyone looks at. You need friends to talk to. She doesn't want any. She has her sister. Tegan cares about her. Tegan protects what's important to Tegan. Mm. Sometimes that's me. I had another question. Why didn't it let me ask it? Oh, I have a <laughs> bunch of questions. <laughs> what kind of herbs do you have here? Ooh. Oh. Are we gonna get the things and make things? Since cold season started, business has been booming. It's very old looking book. The shop itself and preparing remedies, it's getting harder to keep up. I don't mind lending you a hand with preparing the remedies, if that's okay with you. I love learning new things. Hmm. This is delicate work. But you do seem to have an interest in herbology. Sure. It would be fun to pass on the basics, at least. I'll be around the shop and manage the counter. Just let me know when you have something finished, and I'll I had, like, a lot of questions for you, though. <laughs> like, I didn't know I was walking into a minigame. Where do I begin? I've prepared the patient notes already. You can find them on the counter. You can use my reference book to study the herbs and what ailments they cure, and the basics of remedy mixing. Okay. Okay. This is going to be <laughs> Nancy when there's a side mission. All right. Slight high the notes she took when discussing the ailments with her patients. Need to figure out the proper mix of herbs to cure these. All right. High blood pressure and anxiety. This book looks really worn. The knowledge must be centuries old, if not more. I'm so oh, glad. it's from Tichuba! <gasps> For all my children, I write this book as a memory saved that my knowledge gathered will live on through you. The healing graces given by nature are never to be forgotten, and so I wish for nothing but for you to walk the path our family has been offered. Heed this wisdom that you won't take life for granted. Suspend it, making, suspend it in meaning and purpose. Take pride in wisdom learned and stay humble for what remains unknown, Tichuba. What are you saying? Uh, I'm just so glad that they added this feature where, yeah, I, don't where I don't have, have to, to try and squint. read the fucking text. Yeah. Oh my god. It always makes me feel so stupid and illiterate. Yeah. 
<laughs> remedies with nature's grace. Mixing the extractions nature offers is a delicate and precise process. Within these pages, you shall find the wisdom to remedy any of the common diseases that plague your people. Grind the herbs will, well to unleash their full potential in the mixture. If the person's ailment is harsher than usual, add a larger dose of the remedy. Mm. Any mix is only as potent as it is balanced, thus no more than three doses should be added in total. Only add three doses of the same herb when the patient's suffering has become unbearable. For most, one extra dose will suffice. So don't kill anybody. Mm -hmm. A fragrant and costly spice, profitable for digestion. Mm. Restless mind. Okay, we might need chamomile. Mm -hmm, for the anxiety. Mm -hmm. From the hard pulse. That might be blood pressure. Mm, where's that? Garlic. Excellent. When leeches are scarce. Yeah, yeah, So we need garlic and chamomile. Mm -hmm. And we can keep reading when we get to the rest. Wait, which one's higher? Moderate anxiety. So probably more chamomile than than garlic. What is that? That's not gar Wait. What is that? It looks like cinnamon. Okay. I was like, she's not telling me. Fever few. What am I looking for again? Chamomile. Sure. Oh, it's probably these flowers. Chamomile. Yeah. yeah. Chamomile. Let's do two chamomile and one chamomile. ginger. Yeah. Okay. Or was it garlic? I, I thought that. Did you read the book properly? Yeah. My bad. That's okay. I, it took me a second. Chamomile. I know. Chamomile. I know. Alright, I'm gonna go. Look at that. Yay! I think this is cute and fun. Mm -hmm. I like this little side game. Thank you. It's tricky to keep track of everything, but the book really helps. It's old and worn from use, full of wisdom. It's taught me most of what I know. Okay, I have to run to the bathroom if you want to do the next one. Okay. Also, I don't think anybody's watching us anymore. I know. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm having fun. I, know. I mean, it is recording and we'll post it later. Oh, yeah, of course. Ugh. Okay. Nausea, indigestions, and migraines. I don't know. I feel like cinnamon would be good for the nausea and maybe also the indig indigestion. So I might do cinnamon twice because I'm looking at the things. But what would be good for migraine? Do you want another cookie? I'm good. Thank you, though. What do you think would be good for migraine out of all of these? Huh? I feel like starwort, maybe? Just because I don't see anything else that's like really to do with the mind. What's the thing? Migraines? Migraine, nausea, and indigestion. When they say mind, I think they probably mean thoughts. That's what I thought too. I mean, but I'm just try, like, where are the other things? Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Did you just change that and I change it back? I don't know. <laughs> there's also rosemary that says it awakens minds weak with lethargy maybe lethargy you think i don't know well, I have itchy no idea. noses that sounds like a cold right i mean but that's only one of the things <laughs> indigestion yeah we're making um little herbal remedies with um with the cute little herbs that she's got on hand and so the one that we're making now has to address nausea indigestion and Sorry. migraines that's okay <laughs> And so I think for the nausea and indigestion, though, I felt like cinnamon twice might be the, the key. Like two doses of cinnamon. Mm hmm Don't do more than three. Or you'll kill or somebody. Or we'll die. It'll be the cinnamon challenge. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> back from 2000 whatever when was that i'm about to write all this stuff down and go and buy it at a store right i'm just like garlic is a cure for everything yeah Thank glad i put I mean, it i knew home. that <laughs> garlic's a cure for depression truly all right you do your thing <laughs> all right i don't know i'm still stuck on the the migraine one i guess we'll try rosemary and if that doesn't work we'll do the other one what am i looking for oh, yeah. rosemary but also cinnamon I don't like how the the mouse is spazzing out. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, so I think two things of cinnamon and then... Where are you? Where's the rosemary? Is this Might it? be that. You click it twice, she says the name. Sage. No. Okay, nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, is it... No. What is this? I don't know. Oh, it's locked? Yeah, I lost the key to that one. Sorry. Interesting. Then why did you leave it here? I would never bring it home with me. Let me know if you find it. Huh? Okay, well, you know, task. Are you the rosemary? Our lady's thistle. No. Is the rosemary in the locked box? <laughs> I guess we'll try, um, what was the other one that I said? I don't know. I don't know either. Fever few. Do we have all the things mentioned? I guess maybe not. Ginger. Maybe not. Okay, that was sage. I think yeah, I don't know. I was, yeah, in the bro. I was in the bathroom. I mean, that's fair. Make remedies for IBS. No. Help for the ghosts. Or TB. No, I can't even find out how to make one for fucking migraines. That's supposed to be right in front of me. It's not on Facebook. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, well, I'm also stupid. I didn't even turn the fucking pages. You did? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, do we even have everything? So, ugh. I hate it here. <laughs> That's okay. Turn the pages. Yeah, that oh, helps. pains in the head. Yeah, so I guess the fever few is the next you thing. You have brain cells. Oh my god, no, I have brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> up, Which one? Up, was upper, it? upper right. Sorry, this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, I want to jump. Fever few. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I, okay, I think the fever few is right. I guess not cinnamon. And well, also maybe the, cinnamon the, only once. Yeah, I was about to say the the amounts. Check the. Okay. What? I was gonna say check the symptoms, but oh, it's not trying to dash. But it, to no. what degree? Just light. All of them are slight. Okay. <laughs> Me, a doctor. To what degree? <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Um, Hang on. Turn the page regularly without showing the text. I just have a curiosity. Okay. Oh, there's a little drawing. Cool. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wait. That's not on the. There is knowledge still that rests on the horizons of future dawns. That's not on the notes. Can you click this piece of paper? No. No. Keep turning the page. Uh, I can't. Oh. It's done. Interesting. Okay. Are you sure? Oh, wait. Hang on. I just didn't read this yet. Okay. There is knowledge still that rests on the horizon of future dawns, such as and may always be the remedy for the poison tongue. A mixture never perfected, the peace it would bring if we could know who spoke truth and who was soaked in poisonous lies. In my life I have often been in dire need of it, yet the proper mixture of herbs remains hidden. There would need to be a loosening of the tongue to let the words slip out. Something for an unhindered voice, and lastly a herb an herb to bring forth the hidden thoughts of truths unspoken. I feel like this is gonna be important. Okay. Cause <clears throat> <laughs> it's about lies and like with the thing well, all the thing about like accusing witches obviously like knowing who is telling the truth and who's lying i feel like we're gonna need to make the finding the truth, the truth potion yeah Ew. a loosening of the tongue something for an unhindered voice and an herb to bring forth the thoughts of truth unspoken that sounds important i don't I know i do like it yeah what were they does. again nausea indigestion and migraines yes and we think the fever Right? Is it called fever wart or whatever? Mm -hmm. Fever few. That's what I'm fever wart. I'm just <laughs> making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> Ooh, rosemary would probably be interest important for the the truth serum. Oh yeah. Resolution of the tongue. Loss of speech by resolution of the tongue restores speech. Mm, this is for kidney stones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm reading your notes. And that one's for voices. To free the chest of Hang on, meat. write this down not in those notes, like on mm -hmm. this page here. For truth, truth uh, yeah. notes. Yeah, I like, um... Rosemary? Or, no. Hang on. Yeah, rosemary. Yeah, rosemary and sweet marjoram. Rosemary... Okay. I like, I like marjoram. I like the name. Mm-hmm. 
We got nausea. So ginger helps with nausea. Okay. So ginger. What was the other one you liked? Cinnamon? Ginger, cinnamon, and fever few maybe? Yeah. We can give that a shot. Yeah. Because we have ginger. We have cinnamon. We have fever few. Dope. Yeah. You're getting my hang of Helps when you turn the page. <laughs> sure does. The herbs and their ailments, Girl, I haven't memorized shit. <laughs> oh, are we done? I'm not doing no, it. We're not. Do not listen to her. We are checking the notes every second. She is every lying day. to me. She is lying to you. Um, Slight indigestion. Okay. Indigestion. Memory, anxiety, and indigestion. Okay, I did see one that was for memory, but unlike Nancy, I didn't freaking rememorize it. Rememberize it. <laughs> and which one did we say was good for anxiety? Um, the one we did last time. I didn't remember. Uh, I didn't remember it. Was it chamomile for restless mind, right? Yeah. So chamomile for anxiety. Memory loss. Wait, hang on. Could be the... No, hang on. Witnessed by my own person to revive the sleeping mind and forth bring hidden thoughts. Write down Star War on the truth serum. Yeah. yeah. What were they again? It Memory was, loss? Yeah. It's like a foggy mind, anxiety, and I know there was one with memory loss. I don't think hidden thoughts are the same as... Also, I don't think we have Star Wart. Okay, so chamomile. Mm -hmm. Have you written that one down already? Yes. Okay, chamomile. Uh, cinnamon clears pimples from the face. Okay, that's true. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy in my class one time who was like, he, he, he had like flawless skin. He's like, I used to look like a pimply mess, but just like cinnamon and honey toast. Cinnamon and honey toast. Really? So he ate, like, he ate cinnamon, cinnamon and honey, honey toast, toast for like breakfast every day and it, it cleared his skin. That's amazing. Yeah, so now that this video game has told me that cinnamon is good for pimples and that guy has told me it, I'm about to go it's long. cinnamon challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Need to buy a toaster. <laughs> I do need to buy a toaster. Okay, let's do ginger, chamomile, and I cannot find the one for memory loss. What is the one for... Uh, That's for voice. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm also thinking about what we have, right? Yeah, okay, let's just like... So I know what we know what these are for. What is this? This is sage, right? Sage. Yeah. What is this? Our ladies. Okay. What does our ladies this will do? Give me the book back. Yes. <laughs> Still thinking about how I didn't turn the page. Okay. Because you have to turn the page to get to the first list. So you I know that it I just existed. didn't like go beyond that page. Uh, dissolves obstructions to break and expel the stone. So that's like yeah. tummy and digestive issues. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, garlic, leeches, remedy for plague, blemishes on the skin. Okay, so we add ble we add garlic to that honey toast. Yeah, good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really good. Okay, what is this? That's the chamomile. 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 Yeah. Can what I? We have for the anxiety. Okay, I didn't do anything. And then garlic does everything. Ginger? Let's just try it. I don't give a heck. Chamomile. What's the other one? Cinnamon? Yeah. Sorry. Nope. You're gonna have to start over. I'll start over. I'll start you over. What are the symptoms again? <laughs> I don't remember. Anxiety, indigestion, and memory conditions. Oh. Wait, memory conditions? That could be anything. They, they, they got too much memory. <laughs> like, um. I remember so much. <laughs> I know. It's like, please help me forget. <laughs> It's like, what you're gonna want is not this. You're gonna want um, the bar across the street. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. They've got the elixir. Cinnamon. Cinnamon was good for. I can't. Is that that's what we used for like nausea the first time? I right? think so. And chamomile's so for anxiety. So is ginger for digestion then? Maybe indigestion rather. Didn't I try that just now? Yeah, but I don't know if the memory. Yeah, hey, let me just look. Good or bad. <laughs> feel bad for anyone who watches this back and they're just like they have opened that book <laughs> three kabillion and they don't times. know what anything does okay chamomile is for anxiety cinnamon is okay. for digestion so yeah rosemary loss of speech and awakens minds with lethargy and blah, blah 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 and then bile and jaundice wait maybe we just need to like double up on something like double cinnamon one chamomile I'm trying it. Yeah, but I don't. That I don't care. Make sense. Maybe, it, no, it doesn't. I make think sense. it would make more sense for it to be double chamomile than well, double. Well, let's do both. I can't sell this. Did you read? No, I didn't. Girl, no, I didn't. <laughs> you I know, know how I to didn't. read. You're standing right there. You saw that I didn't know what I was talking about. No, this is 
Okay. I know. Okay. I'm okay, so do chamomile twice and then one cinnamon. Oh, I accidentally did cinnamon and garlic. Yeah. yeah. You didn't stop me. You just, you were already clicking. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, I know it, I know it, I know it. And then I clicked all the wrong things. No. I know it's not right, but I don't know what's right. For real, I'm like, we only have fucking three things. What does fever or fever do again? Head, fe headaches. We can look one more time to make sure. Yeah. Pains in the head. Any running or swimming in the head? I don't know what meg me grims are. Migraines, maybe? Oh. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try fever few. But you don't, they don't have headaches. Instead of, what? They don't have headaches. But I mean, it also says clears any running or swimming in the head. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means Which either. could be memory loss, I feel. Maybe. I almost give it a shot. Give a shot. <laughs> oh my God. I've already done a bunch of shit. Yeah. <laughs> What did I just do triple garlic? <laughs> that addresses none of our symptoms. Sorry. It addresses my symptom to need garlic bread. Do we have to do this right now? I can't back out of it. Oh, okay. wait. Yes, I can. Peace out. Okay, because maybe whatever we need is in, like, the box is what I'm thinking. And that's why we can't solve it. We did that for a stupid amount of time. Wait, we didn't even need to. I just didn't see the eggs. I like it though. This is, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but dot dot dot, and then I don't know what the question is. So, <laughs> it's like, this could be I anything. To offend or, I mean, or knowing to... Nancy, I'm about to ask her, like, why she's so dumb and ugly, you right. know? Right. I'm sure lots of people ask you, I'm sure you've been why asked this. so <laughs> stupid, your ass is so flat. I'm sure you've been asked this before. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but why are you the only person of color in the city of Salem? Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of all the POCs. <laughs> For the record, that joke's funny because I'm a POC. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this before, but where were you on the night Hathorn House was burned down? Okay. All right, we're just doing our. Coming home from work, crossing through the cemetery, I could see the orange glow. By the time I got home, it was almost all gone. I called it in. Were you the first one to call? Why would nobody call it in? Anyone see you earlier? Like an hour before? I was in my shop. Any customers? No. Are you trying to say that I burned down the house? No, you just need an alibi. No, I never said that. Good. I've said it a million times, but I'll say it again for your benefit. I'm just glad she wasn't alive to see it. Mm. She loved that house, and I loved her. You understand? I do understand. Of course. You were the first person to see the fire? Well, yeah. I was going home and that's where the fire was. It's just that it's a very large house and very important. You know, the flyer might help you keep your home. I know that now, but I didn't before. It's a slim chance at best. I'd rather it was whole and shown to be mine by right. Aww. Yeah. But if that's not I'm sure the will wasn't in the house half half the house that got burned down. But that would be shitty. Right. Mm, I think she's a member of that guy. Right, so let's leave that. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, she might not be offended. Yeah, she's. I, we weren't accusing her of being in it. So you never heard a rumor as a kid, maybe. What are you getting at? I found a photo oh, Nancy. See, that's what I'm. Nancy can't just like mind her fucking business. She kept it. She did kept it. Sure. Well, sort of. It was a shed yep. somewhere. It was a shed. The neighborhood the Perrys live in. We went there a few times. So. Okay, I'm 100% that they started the fire. The thing that I said earlier about this Tegan's fire being the fire that. May got hurt in. I'm 100. percent Oh, of course. There's no coven of witches, though. And that's also probably why she dropped those two. Because after that, she realized that all their like, like whatever they were, they were doing ridiculous. was yeah not worth it. Because yeah, 100. percent That's the same system. shed and yeah. the same fire and yeah. And that's why she wasn't supposed to go in there. It's because it was her big sisters. Do we think Nancy would be good at playing Uno? No, I think Nancy would be a uh, annoying to play Uno with because she'd be that person who like 
when you try to do something fun like stacks which aren't in the official uno rules she'd be like that's not in the rule book i'm very lawful i follow all the rules that's what i think playing uno with nancy would be like i don't know what stacks is like um when um i if i were to put down a draw four the person next to me if they had a draw four when you play it with stacks then you can stack a draw four on top of it and the next person has to draw eight okay and that's like not in the rule book and so like, like instead says, of do so that. like if you if it was me you and a third person and it was you and then me and you put down a draw four and i was supposed to be the one who draws four because i'm next if i had a draw four i could pass it to the next person yeah, by and placing draw, draw four yes and then they, and they would have, have to draw, draw eight, eight. Yeah. Okay. And if they had a draw four, yeah. then now I See, have I have well. a small family and no friends throughout my life, so I've never played with more than two people. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uno, I think, is one of those games that's best played with a big group. So, I mean, it does, like, suck ass when the person is like, draw four, draw four, draw, draw two, four. reverse yeah. it to me, and draw two. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. So I have done that, and that's when I thought <laughs> Stacks was, and then I remembered that it was a game that had multiple people in it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> anyway. Everyone says there are ghosts in this town. Is that true? What is it? You know, I believe the dead stay dead. Preach it, Lauren. Mm-hmm. But I've seen ghosts. Oh, never mind, Lauren. In my own house. Oh, recently in her own house? Yeah. Really? It was me. Who? Wait, you believe me? I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> Nancy's like, no, girl, I, I saw him too. I believe there's an explanation. Who was it? I don't know. A woman. A woman. Wearing old clothes like the kind you find in yep. Keegan's museum. Yep. I couldn't see her face, and I swear she was real. I could hear her. I could feel her. She smelled like yep, like rotten fruit or something. Ooh. You know that gray, moldy smell that hits you in the back of your throat? Yeah, that. Huh. That's pretty specific, actually. More specific than anyone else I've talked to. She's seen it. Mm-hmm. I saw her in the Hathorn house. Watch out for her. Speaking of the Hathorn House, can I have the key? Mm-hmm. No doubt in my mind. Also, hmm. just briefly, I really like the way that they did the the game uh, graphics while Nancy was seeing the ghost and how it was like kind of blurred around the edges. Yeah, like, I feel like, I like they that really a lot. did a good job of like showing just like this is scary and abnormal. Mm-hmm. I like that. What I like is I feel like in previous games, this has got nothing to do with the ghost. That's okay. In previous games, I feel like you could only talk to somebody from one angle. And right now, and when I talk to her, she turns to look at me. I feel like I would need to go around the desk and stand in front of her. <laughs> and I just like that they're, like, keen on that. Right. I like the little changes. Yeah. I wonder if they would ever do, like, a f- like truly first person, like, where I would have to, like, hold down W to walk rather than click. Ooh. Because right, they've kind of done this weird in-between thing where I can click, but I can also click and drag to look around. Mm-hmm. Where with most most games, you have directional keys and then you and, use your mouse to look around. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they would ever do that. It feels like it would be somebody else's game if they did that. I was going to say, that sounds like, honestly, like, I, it happens all the time in, like, other games. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Nancy Drew game. Imagining it in a Nancy Drew I'm like, that's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's very normal. It's how every other game works, but not for Nancy Drew. No. Oh, too no. complicated. I don't know, but I would really love the kind like where if I could play it with like a controller with a joystick. I'm like, yeah, oh, you're I a do, joystick fan. I do. I do like. I prefer that over the, like a W. Yeah. What is that? W A S D. WASD. Yeah. See, I'm left-handed, so I can reprogram my keyboard to not use WASD. I use OK L semicolon, but I can't reprogram the joysticks to be. Mm. Well, actually, some games I can, but then like your important keys for selecting things are still on the same side. Right. So I end up just adapting to it and it's like I have to keep learning it and I don't like it. Anyway. Okay, let's Do you remember where you were with me by three nights back? Yeah. What's I hear? I was here. I told you already. I have the receipts to prove it. And I'm you didn't have customers. Literal receipts. <laughs> Adam, was that you at the moldy fruit oh, yeah, smell of the ghost? <laughs> I don't suppose there are any ghost sightings in your shop? <laughs> the spirits come and go as they please. I've seen them every So she doesn't think it's a ghost ghost because she thinks the dead stay dead, but she thinks it's something. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's interesting to me because I'm like, how can you... What is it then? Like, how can you say both things at once? She's like, yeah, I think the dead stay dead, but also that was a ghost. I've seen it. I've smelled it. It's in my house. What kind of herbs do you have Has, like fruit. Here? Oh, shoot. I forgot <laughs> this was a minigame. Sorry, everyone. Lauren. I know how it works. Don't tell me. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lauren. I was hoping I could borrow a key to the main Hathorn house. Pretty please? Key? Oh, I don't have a key anymore. We can just walk in the burn side. You don't? 
No, but Alicia does. Okay. Uh, ask her. How does she have one? She'll lend it to you. I'm sure. Maybe for lawyerly things. <laughs> lawyerly things. All right, see you see later. later. Let's look around this place to find the, the key shop. for the box. Where? Oh. Oh, ha. candle. Nancy said that kind of triumphantly. She was like, ha! Like, I found it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What is this place called? Luminous? I don't know. Coffee shop. <laughs> I've got, not got the patience to memorize every single name of every single thing. Call it Luminous Herbs. That's probably right. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all see the key? Oh, it's right there. What an odd key. <laughs> it's <laughs> right there. She did not look around. There. She was like, yeah, I misplaced it. I don't know where it is. And I'm like, girl. Girl, it's like <laughs> behind you. It's in front of you even. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I just do this instead of talking to you? Of course not. That would be too easy. Too, too easy. I do really like the little decor in here. I think it's super yeah, it's cute. Kind of okay. herbs. Yep, 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 yep. Yay. I want to see what it is. Because maybe it's something fun for our memory potion. It fits. Sweet. Mate, sweet marjoram. Ooh, yeah. So it was one of our things. So what is that for again? I don't know, but let's try it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was that with... Uh, where the fuck did I put my little notesies? Mm-mm. <laughs> it's for okay. voice. Free the chest of weight and disease for voice clear and unhindered. Interesting. So that doesn't sound like doesn't any of sound. those. So I really don't know what the fuck. I don't know what it was supposed to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have to, have to start it. I don't understand! <laughs> Is it still the one from before? Okay, no, they've got oh, they changed it. Okay. Slight memory conditions and moderate liver condition. How do you know that something's your liver? What? Like, how do you, how you're like, oh, my liver's acting up? Uh, it's made up. It's like, <laughs> 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 it's like, oh no, my bile, you know, what, you know <laughs> my humors, well, one of my I humors is acting really up. Really and truly, I could not tell you like what side is on like, I think I don't know what side your appendix is supposed to be on. The only thing I know about a liver is if you drink too much, you'll fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it does shit it, like, with pee it, or it, something. Um, it filters stuff. I'll say it's, it filters. And you'll work into overdrive if you do too much alcohol. What? <laughs> it sounds like I really don't know anything about it. <laughs> it filters stuff. I'm like, it filters. <laughs> like, I'm making it up as I go. I swear I knew it was a filter. <laughs> I'm a sponge. I'll just filter feed. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, Abigail's never watched SpongeBob. She's good for her. Neither is Robin. <laughs> Abigail's because she was highly sheltered. Same with Robin. We're just oh, talking they about Charles. Yeah. <laughs> They're not here. I can say whatever I want. That's right. <laughs> and I love them both. I love them a lot too. Okay, what were we doing? Liver and liver. <laughs> What was the other one? Um, shit, <laughs> <laughs> it was memory. Memory, Remember, which is fucking it's something very funny. funny. Memory. <laughs> okay. okay, who was memory again? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the one that we were fucking up. We couldn't remember. It was either was. that one, that one, or that one, I think. Oh. I'm pointing in our notes. Mm -hmm. Um, memory, expel the stone, blemish the. Wait! The, tem the liver, our, our lady's thistle. Okay, so. Okay, so our lady's thistle. What's the other one again? Memory loss. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> we'll just keep doing that. Wait, it might be Star Wart, which we don't have. Uh, memory, 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 memory. Oh, Sage. It's 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 that and Sage. Stay Sage. So more liver than Sage. Is Sage the memory thing? Yeah. So we're just. No. No. Okay. Was that not Sage? Wait, what was the other one? Thistle? Yeah, Lady Thistle. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. This has got to be so frustrating for... Uh, what's the, the amount? It was it was mo it was slight memory and moderate liver. Oh, okay. so the ladies, so this should be twice. Yeah. And this should be once. I had it backwards. I'll put it with the rest. Yes. Okay. Glad. Do we need to do this anymore, or are we good? I think we're good. I just wanted to... I, yeah, to use our new key in our yeah. fun time. So, how do you feel about breaking for the night? I feel good. Feel I feel good about it. I think about we're it. at a good little spot. I think so, too. Yeah. I feel like we're starting to get a little distracted in real yeah, life. So, tired. maybe we're just, like, over <laughs> it. Hang on, I saw... Uh, Herbal teas and natural remedies. Let's just look around the place. A whole menu mm -hmm. to choose from. Yeah, it's 
cute in here. It's great. Cool. Let's go. Oh, music heavily changed. Can I put my pumpkin somewhere? That's not all I'm saying. I'm like, please let me put my pumpkin down. Please let me put my pumpkin the down. Town of Salem. <laughs> my pumpkin. Okay, let's call it quitsies. Yes, this is good though. Let's save. We had an autosave, we're gonna override it. Yeah. Yes. Alright, thank you for watching all none of our viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's one too many on the list, so right, one so viewer means probably zero. zero. Viewers, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. That's a cool picture. That's a cool picture. I like the house how it's on fire. Yeah, this is like the only loading screen in an answer your game that like kinda owns. Also, this grass is very clearly the same, like several pieces of grass. Copy paste it. Anyway. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.